Hello everyone, my name is Tariq and today I to learn how can we make a 3D60 view uh, effect into effect house. So in this tutorial we're gonna use GIMP for um, choose the texture for the image and scale it to uh, and share it like to eight different parts and then we're gonna use Blender to make this process works better. So now let's go and search for this website which is called Insuplash and you can like search and download any 3d60 view image you can use okay um i have already used one uh, texture over here so i'm going to explain how can we uh like separate this image to eight different parts okay so now let's just choose this tool for cut uh, like the group tool and scale randomly from here then go to the size make it 2000 2000 and make this 0, 2000 sorry 0 okay so um, put on the size 2000 and 2000 this is the size we're gonna use for for the texture okay so this is the position for this texture this is gonna be number one once you finish from number one you can change the first position to 2000 so now we go to the second texture once you finish exporting this texture how can you export you can like easily uh, click left click and go to file uh, export as and you can save the name you want and export it like you can do it to the to the all images so you can uh, save it all the same time so once you export it go and do the same thing choose the thousand two thousand zero zero so now let's say we go, we need to export this image we finish export it go to 2000 we finish export the second one you're gonna change the position every time to add more 2000s to take that like the fit size okay let's go now 4000 this is number three then the last one is 6000 okay and you can export the all four pictures once you finish exporting this part you need to change the zero this zero to 2000 and this one to zero so this is gonna be image number five then once you export it go to 4000 then um, sorry 2000 then here 2000 I'm gonna go to the to the part number six then change it to 4000 gonna part to part number um, seven then another 6000 this is the part A, the last part. Once you export the eight textures from here, I want you to go um, to Blender and delete that. Let's add mesh um, UV sphere from here. Let's just zoom in and um, click right click to shade smooth. Then what you need to do is click edit mode, okay? so how can we use this images so i'm gonna show you this is the first part the first image that we use okay once you finish uh, selecting this part um, you need to go to the second part and select the second part then the third fourth fifth like that so let's start creating it so let's select the first part from here okay let me just select it correctly okay this is the first part how can we add the texture over here go to the materials add new material and click assign so you can choose this assign the material to this part only so now click UV editing and um, click open and import the first texture which is number one the first part that we group from the image okay this is number one so let me just click on the axis and change the view here to the texture mode okay now click a to scale um, the texture so to select this tool the transform then you can scale it over here okay so now we scale it but we don't see uh, the texture on the sphere what you need to do is going to to the shading and I go to add click image texture search for it then apply the color to the best color click over here and choose image number one okay once you choose it you're gonna see it to the whole uh, sphere but that's okay 
we're gonna fix that in in the second part I'm gonna show you okay now we finished this part okay click on the wise from here and choose the second part like that and go to the materials apply a new material from here click new and click assign once you click assign as you can see here this is the only thing that's gonna be applied from our texture click on the file here and bring texture number two click a and um, scale it okay as I said before we don't see it here we need to go to shading add image texture color base color then add number two okay so now we can see it and review it from here let's just zoom in and make it fit together okay like that perfect so I'm going to do this process to the to the old textures then I'll just speed up this video okay guys uh, now as you can see here we finish the fourth parts for the texture like the fourth part for the top of the sphere now let's click on the Y's again and now we're gonna start again from uh, this part like that from down and do the same process for the for the for uh, texture number five six seven eight so applying a new material I'm gonna speed up this video perfect okay not bad so once you finish click on the sphere and go to file and export it as fpx once you click export as fpx click on selected objects and name it the name you want and export it and now let's go to effect house create a project card so the first thing you need to do is I want you to import um, the textures that that we like separate from each other's the eight textures okay this number one two three four five six seven eight drag it over here and then search for the sphere that we create import it over here and delete the camera and add an object AR tracking choose AR camera okay now let's just um, drag the sphere over here and now let's just scale it so you can see it on the, the view here so as you can see here the textures and the materials not applied but the materials is already here with the sphere go to each material for the sphere and apply the texture that we just track material number one with the with the texture number one and the same process for all the materials let me just speed up the video okay guys so as you can see here this is the the 3d60 view that we create um now we don't see like um the sphere or the 360 view on the camera what you need to do is going to each material from here and they want you to change um, the render state from here go to render state then change the call mode to front to each material of the sphere change it to front okay guys looks like now it's ready for us let me just rotate it from the side okay let's just review it into tiktok together
guys. That's amazing. Okay guys, before I end this tutorial, like in each image, you can use it like this way, like you can cut it from the half, use this half and use the second one and you can use it in Blender. Like for example, I can do edit mode and click and save the half and apply a material and add the texture that I export from GIMP and you can use it like that, like with with two textures but the quality is gonna be uh, very bad so that's why we use um, eight textures or you can use for example four textures so you can do what is fit for the for the quality that you want okay guys this is the end of the tutorial if you have any questions you can ask me on the effect house server you can find the link in the description thank you everyone for watching